Hey everyone, LEGO have just revealed the Retro Radio set number 10334 and I just thought I'd share my thoughts with you. So here I am looking at it on the Brickset website, kind of like the go-to place for official LEGO news and things. So this set has 906 pieces rated 18+, plus, which isn't really a surprise these days, they kind of just do that for the sake of doing it. I think LEGO should just get rid of the age ratings altogether, honestly. But it retail for €100, Euros, $100, £90, 170 Australian dollars and 130 Canadian dollars releases on June 1st if you're a Lego insider otherwise it's June 4th for everyone else but you know anyone can become a Lego insider it's totally free so you might as well do it and then discount points and all that jazz so yeah sign up for Lego insider uh, Lego didn't tell me to say that but you know you might as well if you buy from them a lot so reading the press release here it says escape to an end of retro reverie Rev Rev Reverie? I think that's how you pronounce that word. With LEGO Icons Retro Radio. Today the LEGO Group unveils the LEGO Icons Retro Radio set and a nostalgic nod to the iconic music styles of the 50s and 60s. The Retro Radio promises a delightful voyage through musical time combining vintage charm with contemporary functionality. This 906 piece set brings the summer vibes and offers a unique and novel experience to music, art and nostalgia aficionados. Once the build is complete, the build features a dial to turn the sound on or off or switch between different pre-recorded sounds and a sound brick. Good. It's so good that LEGO have these sound bricks because, yeah, it's cool. Look, it's a cool looking thing, but the fact it has some sound is great. Obviously, it's not a real working radio. That'd be too much to ask for a 90 pound LEGO set. But the fact it has some sounds in there really does make all the difference. So I'm glad that they've come up with that. And it'd be interesting to hear what they sound like, what the audio quality is. Uh, so yes, this mimics a real retro radio with a modern twist. Music fans can insert and hide a mobile phone via the radio's back panels to play tunes. Yeah, I saw pictures of that. So you can take the back off, put your phone in there, play music from your phone and pretend that the radio is playing it, which is kind of cool, but awkward that you'd have to... Yeah, like, can you put the back on? Let's see, let's look at this pitch. So yeah, here we can see the phone inside the um, inside the radio. So yeah, okay, if you put the back panel back on, can you do that whilst the phone's in there? I guess so. But then you'd have to take that off to change the song, I guess, on your phone. Um, yeah, a little inconvenient, but I wonder how, like... Yeah, because I can see, looking at this picture, there's some hollow space in there, so that's obviously the speaker, or a, a place for the speaker to be. Okay, interesting. And then it goes on to say, transport back to 1950s and 1916. 1960s eras that became powerful forms of expression and creativity with vintage decoration and vibrant colors. The retro radio integrates seamlessly with today's modern interior, making the set a captivating decorative centerpiece and the perfect gift for any occasion. Wow, they really had to fill out their word count, didn't they? Really? Oh yes, this exquisite piece of modern art is wonderful for anybody in any modern home. Yeah, it's a plastic Lego set for 90 quid. Buy it, people, buy it! I will admit, though, it does look good. When I heard rumours of this kind of light aqua minty green colour scheme that it had, I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping for more of like a medium nougat wood effect panelling kind of thing, but I do kind of like it actually. And oh, I think I'll have to see it in person before I officially say yes, I'm buying it, but it is definitely leaning towards a yes at some point, because I, I kind of like it, yeah. I'm exactly the type of person, I'll stick it on the shelf and there it will be. Yeah, I like that. And then again, it's available for LEGO Insiders from the 1st of June and for everybody else from the 4th of June as well. And here, the little brick set poll. Will you be buying this set? I've already answered it. I said yes eventually. But it looks like the majority of people are saying, no, it doesn't interest me. And then, no, but I like it. Maybe I haven't made my mind up it. Only 3% of people so far have said yes as soon as it's released. Interesting. You know, LEGO really kind of cranking out the number of sets they release these days and... Is it for everyone? No, but I guess they can afford to do that now. Let's take a look at the LEGO website, see anything different on there, some different pictures. So, yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Hopefully that LEGO sign, a little tile that says LEGO is a print, not a sticker. But I love the dial mechanism, how they've got that to work will be great. Hopefully they can show that in this video. Yeah, decent size, I think. Hmm, too bad about these technic holes, though. That kind of breaks up the look a bit, I guess. And I think the back panelling, even though it is the back, Leaving all those anti-studs on show, yeah, especially with like all the different shapes in there. Like, come on, Lego, spend an extra ten pounds or whatever just to put some, like the 
inverted tiles on there or something because that is not a good look. But then again, most people will display this so you won't ever see the back. Mm, yeah, okay, that's a good si one for scale with her holding it there. Okay. Decent size. I wonder how comfortable the handle is because it looks quite thin. And if it can, like, be swung around a bit. The antenna, nice. That's perfect. I don't know how else to improve that. Yeah, it looks good. See if, what these videos show. Okay, yeah. It's weird, they're going for a lot of smartphone integrated things, like with the telephone box they had... Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. It looks like it's, the dial movement is a little bit finicky, but it's there. Hmm, that's another important feature I'm glad they have, but yeah, I wonder how smooth that is. It looks like it doesn't quite sync up very well, but interesting. Yeah, like with the smartphone holder type of thing, which... Oh, okay, that was a better look at the dial there. They did it with the red telephone box, which was weird. Here put your phone in it to play music uh, yeah it's a nice little cheat but yeah see what I mean with that dial mechanism I don't know I feel like yeah I wonder what piece that is is that like a red Harry Potter wand that's small and thin I reckon that could do it hmm yeah I'll have to see it in person but what do you guys think about this one I am quite looking forward to it I mean this 360 is not going to show us anything else is it yeah it's just the biggest letdown for me is that anti studs on the back I feel like that's kind of the real weakness for this high-end display modern art thing that they want to sell us. 720 insider points if you get it, 906 pieces. So if you go by price per part or part per price, then, you know, it's kind of on par. Let's see, do they say anything else? Oh, interesting. They called it the vintage radio model, craft a detailed replica of a 1970s radio. Yet on Brickset in the press release, it was 50s and 60s. I guess it could be around that era. Yeah, and they're just kind of... What's in the box? Like, they're really making it sound like it's an actual, you know, thing. <laughs> an actual radio here. Like, this creative building set includes everything you need to build a non-working replica of a 1970s portable radio with fold-up carrying handle and antenna. Yeah. Like, props to whoever's working on the marketing for this because it's just saying the same thing over and over again without really saying a lot, is it? What do you guys think? Yeah. I think it looks pretty nice, actually. I'll probably get it eventually. If I see it in person and see how it looks there. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel. Or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.